Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a video at the request of my mom, sort of. She wanted me to do a tutorial on a simple, natural eye look that she can wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but instead of just doing that type of tutorial, I'm going to show you how I can do that subtle look and then turn it into a more evening, bolder look. A lot of people aren't interested in bold or colorful eye looks, and that's okay, but if you fall into that category, this video might be more geared towards you. So if you're interested in seeing a day and night look that's not too crazy, then keep on watching. For both of these looks, I'm going to be using my go-to palette, which is the Naked, the original Naked Urban Decay palette. And if you don't have this, um, like you mom, that's okay. You can use whatever type of palette you want or just those drugstore little trios that I know you like to use. Those are totally okay. Whatever you have is fine. It's just more about the techniques and where you're putting it that's important. Real quick, I'm gonna talk about what kinds of brushes to use. And you don't have to go out and buy a whole set and big expensive kit of brushes because I can get through several looks with just using one or two types of brushes. But the thing is, you wanna be using the correct kinds of brushes. For people that still apply eyeshadow with this type of brush, this is your typical eyeshadow brush. I've always have one of these this was like my first type of eyeshadow brush but this little guy doesn't blend he's not a blender he's a packer and what that means is that it's meant to pack on the pigment instead of to blend it out into the crease and i think that is what really makes or breaks a look is the blending to make it look more natural and not just a sharp line between your skin and your eyeshadow or it just doesn't look as natural. So what I use instead is a brush like this. It's just a little fluffy brush. You can probably buy something like it by e.l.f. or something. I don't even know what it's called, but um, I got it in a kit of like 20 brushes for like 20 bucks. And I think that's a pretty good deal, but if you just wanted one of these, I'm sure you can find something out there like this for not too much money. But this guy is going to be your new best friend. Go get you one of these guys. For the first look, I'm just going to be using two types of brushes. Very simple. It's probably my easiest go-to look. I will wear it if I have time to put on makeup before I go to class. It's just a really fast process. And it's something anyone can do, honestly. First, I'm gonna take that magical brush. Doesn't matter what kind, just it's rounded and fluffy and it doesn't look like the Nona brush. I'm going to take that brush and dip it into Buck in the palette and just get a little bit, dust it off. And then I'm gonna apply this right into the crease of my eye. And you wanna start off with just a little bit and build it up because you can always add, but you can't take back. And that is it for your very subtle crease. I'm going to do the next eye and we'll move on. Next, I'm going to take this same brush, not wiping it off or anything. I'm going to dip it into this more shimmery, darker color called Smog. And all I'm gonna do is tap into it and put it on the outer eyelid. For this color, I'm just stippling it on, unlike the crease where I was doing circular motions, trying to blend it out. Right now, I'm just focusing on packing on the color and it's still a pretty light color, so it's not gonna be too intense. After I'm done with the outer corner, I go back and draw it back up to the crease just so it's really blended. And now I'm going to take that same color smog with my angled brush, that's what you want to call it, <laughs> and I'm just going to drag this on the lower lash line. Be sure to take a little close-up mirror and check for fallout because you don't want that to ruin your base makeup. Next is a very simple step. I'm going to dip my finger into this pink shimmer shade called Zen and I'm just going to put that on the inner two-thirds of my lid. Mm -hmm. 
I actually drew it into the corners of my eyes just to give it a little bit of pop. That is it for my day look. It was super simple, super fast. It took like two minutes and it's very simple. And you just have to know the proper placement and what to do. My mom doesn't really like to wear mascara, so I'm not gonna put mascara on for this section. And since I'm just going in, leaping into my nighttime look, I'm going to leave the mascara for the end. But if you would like to put it on right now, that is okay. And anything I say during this tutorial, you can just take it with a grain of salt, do what you like, change it up, make it your own, do what suits your eye shape. I only know what's best for my specific eye shape and what I prefer in my opinion. So do whatever you want, change it up. It's totally okay. This is a super, super, super simple look. And from far away, you probably couldn't even tell I'm wearing it, but this is what some people like, so I just wanted to make this, but now we're going to spice up the video and move on to the night look. For the night look, I'm going to stick mostly with the same palette and the same brushes. I'm going to turn it into a more intense, darker, smoky look, but still for, but still pretty subtle and not too like, oh my god, like, that's too much, if that makes sense. Okay, let's hop into it. Taking that magical brush again, I'm going to dip it into the shade Hustle. And I'm going to go back into the outer corner and just pack that on real fast. I decided for the sake of the video, I'm going to wait and do this eye last, just so you can see the day and the night look side by side. Next, I'm just going to take the smallest, smallest, smallest bit of the black shimmer shade called Creep and I'm going to pack it on even further in the outer corner just to smoke it up, just a tad. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to drag it through my crease just to give it more definition but not dipping back into the palette, just using the excess from the outer corner. Going back with the angled brush, I'm going to mix the Hustle and Creep, which is what we put on the outer corner, and put it on the outer corner of the lower lash line. All right, for the next step, I'm going to dip into my favorite thing about eyes right now is the glitter, the Kaya, Kaja, however you want to pronounce it, the trio glitter in the shade Rosewater. I'm going to take the middle shade and I'm just going to take my finger like I did with the day look and pop that glitter on the inner two thirds of my lid. Now, as you can see, there's a big difference between a glitter eyeshadow and a shimmer eyeshadow. And I am obsessed with glitter right now. I'm going to take the top shade. It's more of a champagne color. And I'm just going to use a different finger and pop it into the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner and line my waterline. At this point, you could actually line your upper lid or make a nice wing liner, but I'm not very good at that and I'm still working on it. <laughs> but right now, I've actually been preferring my looks without eyeliner just to kind of make it, I think it stands out more, but I am going to add mascara because that is my saving grace. It will cover up any mistake and make any look look 10 times better. I'm telling you, mascara makes all the difference. My eyes look so much bigger with mascara and I absolutely love it. This is my favorite mascara. I can never go back. It is from It Cosmetics called Superhero. It is the best mascara I've ever tried. This is the final eye look for the nighttime look. And the only thing I would add to this is maybe a lipstick to make the lips pop. The eye is not too bold. It might be bold for some people, but 
This is my typical going out look. Of course, you can adjust it to any way you'd like. If you're not into glitter, that's okay. You could treat it out for a matte or a shimmer or just anything that you prefer to make it more of your own. These are just really simple looks that don't take a lot of skill or, I mean, they take practice, but they don't take a lot of technique or time, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So really anyone can do it. I just wanted to be able to give you an example of both types of eye looks. All right, guys, this is the final evening look. It looks a lot less crazy now that I have some lipstick on and one side of my face isn't a different type of look. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please hit the little subscribe button right down below. It would really mean a lot to me. And comment below which look you like better, either the day look or the evening look. Or if comment below if neither of them are your looks and you'd like me to do something else. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and come back next week for a new video. I'll see you then.